Okay, Patrick Freeman here, and welcome to another exciting tutorial on how to put together your own website. Um, today we're going to be uh, putting together the index page for uh, a website here, and uh, going over the importance of the index page, uh, creating the index page, saving it, and then um, creating um, other pages as well. But today we're just going to concentrate on. Uh, putting together that first index page. So here we go. All right. All right. In our last tutorial, we put together a menu bar, which you can uh, actually see in our uh, files over here. So what I want you to do is double click on that. What you could do is double click on that. And um, what we want to do, uh, since I kind of have an idea what I want to do, um, I'm going to add a table to this. And uh, I wanted two rows and one column. Okay, very textbook, and uh, you'll see how it comes together in a minute. So, um, what we want to do first of all is uh, we want to take this menu bar, kind of click on the edge there, and, uh, and grab that menu bar. There you go. Click on that edge right there, and um, we want to control copy, and then click inside the um, table there. And hit control paste go control V and image description I'm gonna put bar is it okay there you go, okay and uh, we want to hit the uh, okay so what we want to do is uh, we want to grab the corner or once it turns very we want to Kind of click once that turns red right there. You want to click on that, and that's what we're looking for. And um, what we want to do is uh, hit Control C, and then we want to go inside of the uh, table in that second row. Uh, control Paste or Control V, and this will come up, and just hit uh, Cancel. And um, we want to do is uh, get rid of that first menu bar. So we're going to highlight that again. You know, edge there. Hmm, hit the delete. And there you have it. A little unorthodox, but it works for me. Um, and what we want to do now is uh, we want to get on the edge of this table here. Okay, we want to go down to our, uh, our columns down here and we want to uh, align it up or put it in the center. So we'll go put that in the center there and uh, let's open this up a little bit open up that bottom and you can see the uh, menu bar floats in the middle here but what we want to do we kind of want to get it sticking to the top and let me do this uh, so you can get a better idea uh, let me add the banner in here and uh, you can see in um, some more tutorials I'm going to uh, be putting together some um, banners um, with uh, Photoshop and um, okay, so we just uh, click and drag uh, the banner over into the uh, first cell on top of this table here. And uh, what we want to do is we want to name it. So we're just going to call it banner. Uh, you know, whatever you you can get um, as deep as you want or um, as precise as you want with your site. But you know, I, I like basic, so uh, we're going to name that and we hit OK. And bam, there you go. My man, boom. Yeah, Philly's native son. Okay, well, you just try to start to see how the site's coming together here. And so, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to, um, we want to kind of get this uh, sticking to the top here. So, we're going to click inside this uh, table right here. And then you'll see uh, these properties come up properties panel and you'll see the horizontal and the vertical and what you want to do with the horizontal you want to center that and then you'll see that the uh, bar starts to float in the uh, in the middle there and then you go to the uh, vertical and um, we're going to um, put that to the top so that sits right there and there you have it um, and then we want to hit save and this is very important very very important most important step save as index 
no site will work without an index page very important okay so we saved as index save done deal two ways to test this uh, you can hit F12 or you can go to your file and preview in your browser I'm gonna use Explorer and there you go that's how it will look uh, in your in your browser there so looking pretty good it's coming together pretty good okay so now um, say you want to add a uh, a um, background and uh, you know uh, I'm pretty basic so uh, what we're probably going to do is uh, uh, click on the outside here and um, you know, there's two ways to add a background here right now on page properties um, um, when you go down to your um, properties panel hit page properties and you can change your color here um, and add any color that you want and apply you know and that will change the color of your background here okay hit apply there you go and um, me I like simple but you know a lot of people they they're kind of fancy but I'm gonna keep it simple like this okay so you know I'm gonna keep that um, that kind of grayish background there it looks pretty good to me and uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna add a background to the um, the uh, cell in here this particular cell so um, this time I'm gonna add a picture background so um, you can go down to your properties panel right here again and if you want to change the uh, background color you can change the background color to um, to whatever you want in this cell okay so we're going to add a background to this uh, bottom cell here and I have a little um, uh, JPEG I'm going to use so uh, this time instead of using a different color I'm going to actually use a image so uh, I think I have a oh, here it goes a brick image and keep it kind of urban there you go and um, again we want to save as much as possible so we want to hit save and um, pretty much there you have it and um, what we're going to do we want to add some you know add some words in here um, talking about the artist and uh, I could show you how to do that all right now you can start to see our site coming together here it's looking quite nice and um, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to add a background now there's two ways you can add a background um, one um, just uh, click on outside right on the background grid where you start to see that blinking line right there and then you go down to your properties panel uh, where it says page properties you click on that and again here again is doing your homework is very crucial um, um, instead of adding a color background this time we're going to add a uh, image background so here it says background image we're going to browse uh, for our image and I already have one that I made up here it kind of has a city background there you know he is the uh, Philly's native son so I'm going to hit that and uh, click apply and hit OK and it's done and let's you know see how that looks in the browser and we're always constantly um, looking in the browser here and hit yes you want to say you have it looking pretty cool there boom Philly's native son there you go alright so nah, it's another way you can add a background here you see we scroll down this kinda goes down um, you know it's kinda um, goes together with the uh, with the whole site so when you scroll down the whole site moves whole background moves but it's another way uh, that you can um, get that background to stay still and this is a, a other way you can do that uh, let's go back into and um, 
let's uh, get rid of that background here we're going to add a CSS uh, tag on here and um, the way that we do that is uh, we go to a, a new CSS role and we click on that and just hit uh, name it I'm gonna name it background BG okay click OK then you have this uh, panel come up and then uh, category we can go to background and again we're going to go here to background image browse again and look for that background image there and hit OK attachment uh, we want a fixed attachment that's what we're looking for here so we want to add the uh, background image and we want a fixed attachment we hit apply and we hit OK let's go in here and test it out here preview it in the browser explore yes and there you go you have your fixed background so when you scroll down your your background stays still and uh, and um, there you have it um, another exciting tutorial in PF graphics and uh, I'll be talking to you soon on our next tutorial take care peace out hey what's up man